Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger Schooling and today we're gonna talk about the plural effusion. Yeah, we are gonna talk about the plural effusion. Before going and discussing about the plural effusion, we must have the knowledge of the plural cavity, visceral plura and parietal plura. If you don't have a bigger broad sense and idea about the plural cavity or plural uh, plural, plural uh, the parietal plura and visceral plura, you must check out that video in the link above. All right, let's get uh, uh, to the basics of understanding the pleural cavity first. The pleural cavity um, is actually formed. It's a cavity, it's a space. So what happens? Lungs, lung is covered by the visceral pleura. This is lung, which is, which is surrounded by a layer, which is a serous membrane, all right? Which is called visceral pleura. And again, the visceral pleura and the lung together are covered by what pleura? Parietal pleura. So you, you are right, parietal pleura. So between the visceral pleura and parietal pleura, there is a cavity. This cavity is formed. Uh, this is called pleural cavity, and we have the fluid in it, which is almost uh, the protein-rich uh, fluid, which is albumin protein. Uh, we have other carbonates and uh, other molecules as well, but it is protein-rich, which is albumin, which helps it, uh, uh, which help in lubrication, it helps uh, and reducing the friction while we breathe you know when we breathe the lungs kind of expand you know can kind of move a little bit downward and uh, expand expand a lot so this is the basic idea of this uh, pleural cavity and uh, uh, the uh, whistle pleura and the parietal pleura now just get into the definition or what is uh, mean by the pleural effusion the pleural effusion is also called the water on lungs. So what is actually happening? Why we are calling it water on lungs? We're going to discuss it just in a second. But remember, in normal conditions, in the pleural cavity, we have pleural fluid. You know, there's a fluid inside it in the pleural cavity called pleural fluid, which is about one to two spoon of, uh, one to two teaspoon, uh, about one to two teaspoon of fluid. Uh, so this fluid actually reduces the friction and uh, so what happens this per, uh, this pleural cavity when when there's a collection of fluid in this pleural cavity excessive collection remember that we we are saying excessive collection because normally there we have one to two spoons of the of the fluid in the pleural cavity but there is an excessive fluid there maybe could be pathological reasons and other reasons we're going to discuss few reasons uh, a little bit after this but uh, any reason there could be uh, any reason and if there's an excessive collection we are calling calling an excessive collection of fluid then we call and we are discussing, we will be also be going to discuss a few other names, you know, we, we will be using the pneumothorax words. Uh, there will be a collection of uh, air, but we are going to discuss that later. But uh, if there is a collection of fluid, what do we, what, what, what we call it? The excessive collection of fluid, we call it pleural effusion. Not a big deal, that's simple. So what is pleural effusion? The collection of fluid, extra fluid or over fluid. So it collects in the pleural space and it actually restricts the lung while we respire so it uh, it restricts the lung respiration and fluid actually what happens when you breathe the kind of when you breathe the lung kind of expand right the lung expand so instead of this fluid excessive fluid for example there's an excessive fluid you know uh, uh, excessive fluid you know more than normal fluid for example this layer expanded that much so there's a thoracic cage you just image that there is a thoracic cage so instead of applying the force outward what happens when our lungs expand the excessive fluid applies because it it cannot expand outside because there is a cage it cannot move outward so what happens the force actually exerts on the lungs so what happens when we breathe in it it, it makes us for, for us difficult to breathe so what happens so what are the symptoms actually uh, when we breathe when we have the pleural effusion what could be the symptoms we could have dyspnea 
So what is dyspnea? Dyspnea means you have difficulty breathing. That's a, a medical term called dyspnea, which means you have difficulty breathing. As you would have chest pain, probably you're going to have chest pain because of this condition, and you would have a dry cough. And you will feel that you, you will feel fullness in your chest due to all these reasons. So now let's uh, talk something else that is uh, uh, about the uh, excessive fluid. You know, which kind of fluid is going to be going to be there? Okay, so depending on the cause, you know, the excessive fluid may either be protein, protein poor, like you, um, the fluid which is uh, just accumulating in the pleural cavity, it could be the protein, which could be, uh, you know, uh, which could be protein poor, when there is a protein poor fluid, we call it, I mean just writing PP, which, is, which means the protein poor. So uh, when there's a protein poor fluid, we call this one as trans, transudative, all right? But when we have the protein rich, mostly there's a protein rich, uh, kind of uh, the, the, the cause is protein rich fluid in the um, uh, pleural cavity so that is called the exudative all right you may heard of these terms but you have a good concept of these words uh, you know protein uh, poor there is a transudative protein poor what protein poor fluid in the pleural cavity all right so on uh, on these two can on these two uh, categories the, the physician is going to determine what uh, plural effusion you ha uh, you have all right so uh, now let's discuss let's just talk about the most common causes of uh, the uh, the plural effusion probably uh, the trans uh, transudative which means you have a protein poor when you have a protein for example you're going to a doctor and he's going to test what uh, which uh, which fluid you have got if it's protein poor probably you'll be having the most common uh, you know uh, common uh, uh, causes are like you, you may may have heart failure probably and you might have pulmonary embolism or cirrhosis or you might have the uh, posterior post open heart surgery so these all these four things these four causes are included in the transudative but exudative has the uh, more 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 common causes you must you must have heard of the pneumonia the pneumonia can cause the exudative pleural effusion and even cancer the lung cancer can cause exudative pleural effusion kidney diseases inflammatory diseases all are are all included in this thing so now let's talk about uh, let's talk a little bit more about the plural fluids. You know, uh, what happens? There could be different methods we could classify the plural fluids, you know. Uh, it depends on the origin of the fluid. If in the plural cavity you have uh, the serous fluid, you know, you know, the serous fluid which is commonly present, which arises from the serous membrane, you know, parietal pleura and the visceral pleura, then we are, we are going to call that fluid, uh, the serous fluid, then we are going to call, uh, we are going to classify it, it as hydrothorax. But when, we, uh, when there is an accumulation of blood, Blood, we are going to call it hemothorax the word hemo which means blood and thorax in the thoracic cavity and even there is in a chyle we're going to call it the chylothorax even in condition you have pus you're going to call it biothorax or MP empima all right and in case you have urine you're going to call it the urino thorax also this is the simple concept uh, the, uh, the various method which we can uh, uh, define the cl or classify the plural fluid so this is all about uh, 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 the plural effusion there is nothing difficult nothing hard and nothing new it's so simple and please make sure if you don't understand any topic and let us know because we are going to try our best to teach you that see you soon